Anyway, well, hello there. Here we are on Sunday night, August 23rd, 2020. And what we're doing is we're testing out the Canon RA against the R for low light. I tried to set them up side by side, but it wasn't working out quite perfectly. If I would have had the dual camera bar, it would have worked out nicely, but anyway, I wanted to see the difference between the two. And it just does not make sense to me that the RA seems to have better low light with less grain and noise than the R does when they're basically the same camera with a few modifications because of the uh, H-alpha IR cut filter and all that stuff but and I'm also out here testing the RA against all that weird glitchy flashing that happened last night boy that was a trip and it got worse and worse as time went on now I had been filming for quite a long while a little bit over an hour and so that's what I've done tonight I have an hour's worth of footage here over an hour's worth and I haven't been able to replicate it I did eventually after the second try I seem to fix the uh, stuck pixels the at least three red ones and at least one white the first time I did the uh, trick, the manual cleaning trick, it didn't work, but I persisted and gave it another go, and so far I think it seems to have worked. And even though, okay, if this uh, camera is not a problem, I am so wary of that uh flashing glitching but I do like the low light on this this is basically uh, what I've been after it was one of the reasons I wanted to go to the fabled uh, Sony a7s 2 or 3 because they are so phenomenal in low light but for the type of uh, low light I do which is a bit different than street photography and and all that this here is basically what I want to accomplish and even though it doesn't quite match the uh, low light of the Sony it still does better than the R that's all I can say that's me again 10.03 p.m. and by the time I say goodbye it's gonna be past 10.04 so we've done well over an hour testing and I haven't been able to replicate the flashing which is good but I'm still worried about it it is muggy those storms from the south and the gulf and all that man they've been bringing up the humidity all day today All right, it's now 9.19 p.m. on the flame, and I just shut off the other camera at 9.19. Mainly because I can't really match the settings. All right, if you flash, let me know. <laughs> let me take this other camera in, and I'll be back out. It was funny last night. I remember thinking that when I that first flash I saw after getting Saturn and I was still on the Tamron 18 to 400. I remember thinking, my gosh, was that a flash in the sky? I had that thought for like an instant and then huh, that was proved false. <sighs> it 
with Jupiter and Saturn, a few stars of Sagittarius, some clouds, and a willow tree in a shed. Over in our south, southwest sky. Well, they're in the south. Whew. Out of breath. All right, there we go. So we're out here testing on the Ninja Flame. It's 9.03 p.m., but over on the V, we're at 9.07. But it's just me needing to change the clock. Anyway, we have the same settings here. Though the Ninja Flame has the 50 millimeter and the RA. Well, we have the 35 to 150 over on the R. Now with the same settings, the scene looks lighter over on the RA. So I just moved that one up to 12.8. I can't get the same position because I'm cramped over here. Or I'd have a better setup. Um, so while the RA is at 1 or 10,000, we're at 12.8. So I need to see if this was an anomaly. It scares me though. That's an awful lot of money to have a, a problem with a camera, with a brand new camera. Though I do believe the stuck pixels have been fixed. It didn't work the first time I tried the uh, trick. But the second time seems to have done it. Oh, doggone it. Is there something wrong with this camera or not? <laughs> it needs a middle ground focusing zoom. Like 10 or 15 to jump from 5 to 30. 30x is ridiculous. How can you focus when something is so looking so terrible at 30x. I did have to buy a, another EF to RF adapter and it is impossible to find an official Canon one. So I had to get one called Viltrox, I believe. There were mixed reports on the uh, <laughs> reviews, but I have that adapter over on the R with that 35 to 150 lens on it. But I think it's getting dark enough out that. All right, so they're both on 12,800. And the RA looks brighter. So we're going to up the R to 16,000. And let's do the same over here. It's 9.07, nearly 9.08 in a few seconds. Boy, it's funny how the clouds come out so white on the uh, RA and they're more pink or yellow, whatever. At least the ones over by the tree are. And moving up to 20 on the R to try to get it as light as the 16. What time did I start? I'm not sure. Airplane heading in from the upper right. Hmm. Interesting. But I will do when I take that other, this one down to the flame down to F1.4. Let's wait for that airplane to go by. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is more grainy, I swear. <sighs> There's one thing. Let me try this. Alright. That looks terrible on the uh <laughs> on the RA. The color blue is just so off and the greens are wow. neutral and you all right there we go would like to up the ISO to 20 Yeah, I don't know, maybe that IR cut filter they have in there makes a difference in the ISO performance. I don't know. But with the exact same settings on the camera, the R is more noisy. That's one reason why when I do I do want to keep this uh Astro camera. Unless there's going to be those uh, issues cropping up. That flashing, mm -mm, that means there's something wrong. <sighs> there's only a 14 day refund since I bought from Canon. Let's try to 25-6 for a few moments. Skeeter, get away from me. Get away. <sighs> Fucker. Yeah, it looks really bad. Back to 20. Back to 20. Smell food being cooked like a barbecue. Hmm. All right, I'm going to deviate and change the shutter over here. All those flashes were me, as you could tell, as they changed. And I really can't do much more over in the other camera. Because I don't have an f1.4 lens on there. <laughs> And it's now 9.15 p.m. We still have a ways to go. And I suppose I could shut off the other camera. Since I can't match the uh, settings. It's 
not fair for me to take it up to 25.6. Now it is quite dark out here. I can barely see the uh, silhouette of the willow tree, just so we know, even though it's coming out nice and bright there on the monitor. <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. It is now exactly 10.04 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. Have a safe one and hunker down if you're ever down on the coast. And stay safe out west. May rain come your way and storms down south. Chill out. <laughs> All right. Bye from Ohio. Good night, Jailing. <laughs>